welcome to our channel. I'm D. And I'm Six. And we're here to give you your video reaction. Fix, honey. Girl, when I tell you, <laughs> girl, now I'm going to try to mind my mouth because I do want to keep this video monetized. But when I tell you the caudacity is at an all time high. So, girl, the caudacity of Pasty to sit here and have our face, name, or anything like that, like the caudacity of Pasty to speak on such beautiful Black sisters as us blows my mind, okay? I don't even know where she gets off. It doesn't work this way with women, okay? A woman like Pacey just does not have the space to ever even stand next to women like us, let alone try to correct us or check us in any kind of way. At all. So, girl, please get your friend. Girl, so now everybody know all the things ha that have been happening with just Pacey things. You know, so... This whole just pasty things debacle has been an entire mess out here. And so just pasty things, uh, long story short, if you don't know what happened, she's a YouTuber that is was pretty much like having different black people, African people working for her, taking 70% of their ad revenue money. Um she had a known, you know, uh, Caucasian supremacist um, <laughs> on her show. Uh, she has a very odd obsession with slavery, which makes sense considering how she runs her la YouTube label as Suge Knight, like <laughs> slave master-ish. So now... A lot of men don't put a battery in pasty back and got her feeling like, oh, you don't need to apologize to them. You know, they are the woke mob, this and the third. So now her channel is suffering so badly because you got a million subscribers, but you're getting one, you're getting 1500 views on your videos. So now that she realized that nobody want to look at her, nobody care. Now she's getting very desperate to be relevant again so she yeah. randomly coming up trying to play the game of yeah i said what i said y'all know what so we girl we're not gonna go into too much of this because I, I can't but we just gotta look at a little bit just to look at the caudacity and look at what happens when you embolden the caucasoids as she has been emboldened <laughs> decided to apologize I decided to apologize and see, would the people be happy? I don't want to talk to this bitch, why I put her in the primary? She going to general. And by the way, this says the tone you just curly goes corny. She spends this entire uh, time acting um, like a dumb ditzy block. Do I think she's a grifter? She's Absolutely. Out. Yeah, she's I do. I don't think she believes half the stuff that she says that comes out of her mouth. Sis, now why would she put you on here and you look good? That's fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, see, this is why she should never come for women like us, because baby, even if you tried your best to diss us, since not you up there looking like a snack. A whole motherfucking snack. Oh, uh, girl, you look like a, a breakfast. Snack, the a dinner. Tray, the a brunch, brunch. The dinner. The after dinner port wine. Okay? <laughs> Pacey. Pacey, listen. We gon we will help you with some makeup lessons. Yes, yeah, go to her. Your, she needs to get on your Patreon, sis. She needs she to get on your Patreon. Pacey, join the Patreon. I will show you yeah. how to do your makeup. I will show you how to fix that hair, Pacey, because it doesn't work trying to come for us when you over there looking like the Michelin man and sis over here <laughs> looking like a, a bronze goddess. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't work out. Anyway, our friends, girl, now she got Crimson Cure on here. Girl. She got Crimson Cure. Now, why I didn't realize she had the good sis Crimson she Cure on there? She got the good there. sis on there. She, she want all our nicks. See, I don't like when people mess with Crimson Cure. 
I don't like that because Crimson Secure don't bother nobody. And she mind her business. Girl, if you don't get Crimson Secure off of here, girl. <laughs> Damn! Not you on there. You looking like damn the motherfucking dessert. You gonna be like a dessert, not not girl. I know she's trying to come at us, but damn, we look good. I'm sorry. She didn't do what I was gonna do. Who that is? You know. She she ain't do this right, you know. You she ever she us in a good way. Yeah, it didn't. Yeah, it didn't like look at it, it. She showed me. Dan shows this Michelin man. <laughs> Why would you put that contrast? Like you, she set herself up, girl. Don't ever put yourself behind me on the screen, baby, because it just really shows a contrast of your pastiness, man. Girl, Lord have mercy. Not me twice. Right, not twice. She she want that real smoke with me though, sis. Hold on, watch her put me twice. She like why she put you more than two times? Like what that mean, sis? Don't tell me she coming for your neck, sis. And this is why, guys, never apologize to the mob because they don't want your apology, they don't care about you, and they just want to see if they can control you. You know somebody told her that, right? Like, you know, I can tell in the way she's talking, none of this she's saying is her thoughts. The, this stuff she's saying, I and I would be willing to bet I know who put these words in her mouth. Sis, I've had people voice who they think it is, and Girl. we're just going to be silent. But we, we have, all I know. think we we all know. We all know. If you we know, all you know. know. We you all know. know who put this battery in her back. We all know who wrote this for her. This script. And, and she was literally reading from a script, sis. Literally. I noticed that. But I knew that was going to happen. I literally did a video when this first came out. And I said, I'm going to tell y'all how Just Pacey thing is going to handle this whole thing. And I told you it was going to be a few raccoons <laughs> that was going to be on some, don't worry, Pearly, I'm going to tell you what to do. But what Pearly don't understand is listening to them raccoons going to get you messed up. <laughs> them conversations you have one-on-one -on -one with them raccoons are totally different than having them conversations with healthy-minded Black folks. That part. All that stuff that makes sense with them, and they talking about, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. not going to work with normal That's people. Not. Mm -mm. So once you get off that phone with them coons thinking you ate, you did not. Okay. What up, guys? Welcome to the Just Pearly Things YouTube channel and welcome to Selective Outrage. So today, girl, why it seemed like she attempted to put a little curl on her hair <laughs> and it seemed like she attempted to do a little bit of makeup. Girl, she need to attempt to put a little curve in that damn body, in that damn figure and physique. She need to attempt to do some shit like that, looking like a damn Captain Crunch. She she come on to, now. She need to attempt some Pilates with them big shoulders. She needs to get I'm a spray tan. Them shoulders so big. One thing I'm grateful for is that I'm tall, but my frame is super slim and, yes. and petite. Mm -hmm. Girl, because Pearl is my height. Girl, I would be sick if I was this tall with a big back like her. I would be sick. Like, God, thank you for sparing me. Like, ooh, I would hate to be tall and have a big back. Oh, my God. I'm so glad I got a sexy little back. Girl, she just a, just a cockazoid, just straight out the cockazoid. <laughs> Boy, Lord have I'm mercy. talking about how the internet gets selectively outraged. So now, how you do your makeup and hair and still not giving? That that's sad. You don't you don't finally did your hair, finally did your makeup, and it's still not eating. Damn. Um, if you guys are familiar with the Fresh and Fit and Abba and Preach videos, 
Myron, maybe like a year ago now, he had a video go viral. You don't care about friends and wife. And when they do that full convert out of college, usually a lot of times you might be hanging oh, out before. She, hanging now out you, after, you see what she's trying to do with the like divide and conquer you're tactic. At least friendly. Yep. You see what I'm saying? She started yeah. with the two biggest YouTubers, Fresh and Fit, Abba and Preach. And you see how she's trying to triangulate them and go in and, and start an issue between them. I hope they don't fall for it because that's yeah. Because so she's trying to get Fresh and Fit on her team. That's yeah. what she's trying to do. That's 100% what she's trying to do. I don't know why she over there getting a thousand views. She can't do nothing for nobody. Like friends with these people. And what happened was a couple weeks later, Abba and Preach did a hit piece on Myron. And the way they did it was kind of. Okay, okay. Now who's talking about now? Race became the most visible difference between. Sli oh, Lord. Okay. So just. See, Danica, this is why raccoons are so detrimental. Because. Right. When the Caucasoids are looking for a way to justify the things they say and do, guess who they're going to pull up? The, exactly. raccoon, the raccoon that's black looking and will bring the raccoon's words up to be like, see, one of them said it. And that's why we have to check raccoons like, no, your talking points are dangerous towards our people. Because they're going to be over here setting us on fire, saying that we like it, just because <laughs> one of y'all came forward telling them, don't apologize to them. And you know what it means when them folks refer to us as woke and the woke. Right. We all know what that really means by now. Okay. So when she over here talking about woke mob, she really saying, you nick. Right. With the hard ER. We know that's exactly. what woke mob means. It means you nick with the ER. Right. So, okay, so now she's trying to pull up a few raccoons. Girl. To justify. Girl, please. Girl, what is this? Girl, I just can't. And, you know, I, I introduced him to my sister. You knowingly invited oh, girl, let me a white this nigga girl. before you released the video when I asked you did you watch? I don't want to see him on my screen. You said no. So how do you even know? Because that's the thing. He doesn't care. So this is another thing of why black men are going to have to stop kicking with them folks as well. Because mm -hmm. now in the video, she's threatening to copyright strike old boy. Yeah. Now, if you think about as many, you know, men that has come for us. We ain't never felt a need never. to try to get nobody channel taken down. We ain't never been no haters. Even if I've had beef with people, you'll never hear me say, oh, why do y'all follow them? You need to unsubscribe from them. You'll never hear me say, why are y'all super chatting them? Why are you supporting them? That is my number one pet peeve. And you got to be a special kind of hater. So the minute that you don't like what someone said or did, you're trying to ruin their well-being. Right. Now you try and, to get the channel taken down. And it, I'm just kind of peeping game on this too, as far as our boy is concerned and her. Like, it's given she's a scorned ex. Like, she wanted him. And now that he rejected her, it's like, how dare you break my heart like this? I am. I introduce you to my family. I introduce you to my sister. You know, you were supposed to be my token black boyfriend, and right. now you're distancing yourself from me. So this this right. whole situation between them two is just a little bit sketchy it's weird. to me. It's, it's weird. weird, and black men getting way too close for comfort. Exactly. It. And now I'm hoping that they see how they put themselves in these bad situations. We just did a video about people being accountable for the things they do. So we're hoping that it shows historically. I don't know why we as black people like we love to ignore historical consistencies. Historically, people think about, you know, great during slavery and think about massa with the black women. And we do not talk about the fact that Caucas Caucasoid females have continuously felt entitled to the bodies of Negroid males. Mm. Have consistently felt entitled to their bodies, entitled to their attention, to the extent where they're so delusional, they will lie and make up 
that a Negroid man was intimate with them or that a Negroid man whistled at them. Rest in peace to the ancestor Emmett Till. You see what I'm saying? So when you have black men or black looking men that validate them by giving them any kind of attention and then you change your mind, you are triggering a historical consistency. It may be a different form now. It may not be a whistle and having, uh, you know, the Caucasoid male mob throwing a fiery brick through your window. It may not still be in that form. But she is still genetically disposed to issue you a punishment of sort when you deny her autonomy to your body. Facts. Now she over here putting people channels at risk. I can't stand people that do that. You know what I'm saying? When you be cool with them, it's all good. Then the minute you tell them no, even if it's in respect, now they're your enemy. Now they want to see you lose out. Now they want to yeah. talk bad about you which only confirms you made the right decision because you right. don't know until you tell them no. If you right. tell them no, and then overnight they go from friend to foe, spraying your name, trying to ruin your well-being, you made the right decision cutting them off. Mm -hmm. I don't even fuck with MTR, and I still will say I wouldn't even have moved like that. If I don't like some shit MTR did or said, I ignore his ass. But you ain't mm -hmm. never going to catch me dead trying to go in there trying to get his channel taken down and report his stuff for what stopping somebody from eating don't give me more food exactly i can't stand when people do that the minute you don't like somebody you talking about don't listen to them don't subscribe to them don't super chat them does that put more money in your pocket absolutely not that's just a hating ass female or a male oh, there go mr potato head I, i'm not even finna look at mr potato head is that the script writer we gonna shut up girl i can't read this i can't really read this what is this i'm just trying to skip through Set a whole bunch of first in here a view of one of the four first is actually having brands and sponsorship that come down in here and show us respect and they take it away he's misogynistic my channel hill uh, battle that we have to climb because you cannot tell me that you did that in good faith. What happened to good faith? You did that to protect your brand and to build your audience. And you know what? I just can't get over the fact this woman literally is doing all of this to justify her racism. Right. Can we take a moment to meditate on that? We're, I don't even want to go through her video no more. It doesn't yeah, even Yeah, fuck her. It um, doesn't. The I, fact and that then, all of this is to justify her blatantly racist remarks. She, and this is how those, the caucasoids, they stay on code. She refused to even refer to Nick as a racist. And he did. Refused. And it's amazing to me that yet and still, so many people are just blowing this off like it's not a big deal. But then when it's a black woman that does something that you don't like or you don't agree with, you will go to the pits of hell to drag her down. You ain't and right. this woman is sitting up here tripling down on her disparaging remarks. And it's very mild commentary back towards her. Yeah. And I really hate how... She is basically saying like her apology was fake and she only did it to um, calm us down in so many words. You know what I mean? Like she's, it, it, she, she keeps illustrating to us that she was insincere in how she was maneuvering. You know, I, I was doing that because I was trying to appease these people, but you can't appease them because they're the woke mob. And so since they didn't accept my apology, you know, and smooth it over, I'm going to quadruple down on what I said. Hey, if you were really apologetic and you were really sorry, you know, why, why, why are you going to these lengths? And she just further proves our point of she was never sorry to begin with. She meant what the hell she said, you know, she and the only reason did. why, right. And the only reason why she apologized was because she thought that that would simmer us down and, and, and keep us tamed. 
and what we wasn't going for because again you exposed who you really were and who you really are now it's like oh well forget it then you know and, and that's just again y'all be careful when y'all allow in yeah, y'all allow the most disingenuous people up in up in your circle. And then before you you know it, they're exposing you. You know, they're trying to take you down. And for what? When you really boil this down, it, it wasn't called for it for her to go and try to strike his channel down and expose uh private messages. Like it wasn't even that serious. She just should have took her L and went about her life, right? She's the one that's more successful in the first place, correct? So why are you even concerned about what us little woke blacks think about you or what we're saying? Mm. Mm. And, you know, it's amazing to me. Like I said, I'm just hoping the lessons are getting learned here because it's amazing to me how, oh, boy, 100 percent tried to pull that card of trying to soften the blow of how bad pasty is by trying to throw me under the bus. And old boy tried to pull that move of like, well, pasty hypocritical, so is six. And tried to compare a man who had doxxed me, pulled up, you know, very old footage that is inappropriate to be recently circulating present day, knowing I have a father, knowing I have a son. He didn't care about none of that. All of it unwarranted. Never disrespected him. Never even wanted to talk to him. A man forced a conversation on me got roasted for it and turned around and tried to disparage me in the worst ways. Mm -hmm. Tries to stop a moving car. And then after you roast me, dox me, humiliate me, people like MTR try to come forward and still throw me under the bus. Like, well, six is just as bad as Pearl. And I'm hoping that this will finally make them understand. Stop trying to reach to throw your own under the bus to protect them. Exactly. The fact that they patted their pockets, like how can we make Pasty not seem so bad? Oh, well, Six laughed at a black man almost losing his life. No, a black man literally harassed me, tried to force a conversation on me, and for absolutely no reason decided to spend hours scourging the internet for anything humiliating or embarrassing he could find about me, dots me, and I decided to bring up the fact that he just tried to stop a moving car. And in that video, the other officer was able to step back like, oh, you the one that seen Buddy trying to take off and decide to reach into the car. That is not an accident. Now, Pacey laughing at MTR having cancer. Now that's problematic. Mm -hmm. he laughing at somebody thinking that they were Superman trying to stop a moving vehicle is fair game. All is fair and love is war. You dox me, you humiliate me, the same thing going to happen to you. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping that this can be a lesson to people like MTR. Stop letting people sway your decision making. Stop trying to throw your own people under the bus to appease them. Because as you see, they will pull them gloves off to do you in the worst way. And the your sister did not do that to you. So you know, keep that in mind, especially for a man who has several write-ups for improper conduct during traffic stops and harassing people with their sirens off and their lights off on the job. The right. beautiful thing about Georgia is that every time a police officer has been written up, a complaint from a civilian, it's open record. So, um, the lesson here is, you see how Pacey's staying on code? That's how we need to stay on code. Got to stop mm -hmm. letting these Karens into our spaces. And we got to stop acting like we're going to throw our own people under the bus to make it seem as though we're not as bad as them. They will always be 10 times worse than us. So now he don't did all that just to now have this girl threatening his channel. Mm -mm -mm. So now where is the black woman y'all going to find now to show that she tried to get someone's channel taken down to make it seem as though Pearl is not doing not that bad. Not you see how that right. shit is never ending? Mm -hmm. You'll always be able to pull up someone of your own and say, well, this black person did that. I'm hoping we can learn. Stop trying to justify what them people do because it doesn't help the situation. They're going to always use their privilege and turn Karen when it's convenient. Yeah, and and um, I had her on the curb, and this I'm gonna just leave this here. I had her on the curb that uh, 
Pearl's platform is responsible for people wanting to do mass block, block, blocks, if you know what I mean. I heard about so, that too. Pearl, be yeah. careful with yeah. your whack ass platform, sis. Be careful yeah. with your whack ass platform because the stuff that you pushing and the people that you are putting on, like Nick Fuentes, mm. um, that are not that bad, and you're just trying mm. to gain an understanding of him and all of that. Uh, mm. be careful, okay? Mm. And yeah, that's mm. all. Just yeah, thought I would we, throw that little tidbit in there. Mm. Yeah, I heard about that too, honey. Mm. And you know, all of that downplaying what she do. Oh, it's not that bad. Oh, y'all just jealous, okay? Until it's you at that mall in Texas with old boy mm. coming through with the Draco with the AR-15 mowing y'all down. It's all fun and games till that happen. I don't mm. already said we know them folk prone to be the serial deleters and the mass deleters, mm. honey. Mm. And they doing exactly what we've known them to do, baby. Oh, girl, this tea's so hot. I ain't got nothing else to say. I'm not going <laughs> to say nothing else. All I know we is I hope we learn from this, honey. I ain't going to say nothing else. Yeah, but y'all like the video, share the video, subscribe, pasty things, F you, and black people do better, choose better, and be careful who you allow in your corner, okay? But we done. Like, share, comment, Let us subscribe. Let know your thoughts in the comments. Bye.